Well, I've always been a dog person, and uh, I've always been a winter person. Um, I didn't actually see a sled dog until I came to Canmore, and I, uh, I'd never seen anything like it before. It was just fantastic. So I volunteered, and then I did some racing and worked with some kennels, and then eventually got my own business. This whole tour is all about the dogs. And, uh, the more socialising as I, I, I can give the dogs, the better dogs I get ultimately. Um, so that hands-on, every little bit helps with the, with the dogs there, just whether you're touching, whether you're putting the harnesses on them, walking them down there. And I like to think that uh, the more involvement I can get my clients to have with it, hopefully the more appreciation they have for what the dogs are actually doing. Well, kids are always interesting. They, uh, with the youngsters, with the smaller kids, you see a sense of relief from parents with the kids because the, the, the walking motion in the sled tends to put them to sleep. And then uh, some of the older age groups there, they, they, they're kind of giddy with excitement because for them it's all about the dogs. They don't necessarily take in too much of the scenery. Uh, they, they don't, they're not focusing on that. They've come to see the dogs and, and that's good enough for them. The winter environment, seeing the mountains glisten with all of that uh, white capping, yeah, I just think it's uh, pretty spectacular. It is different in the summer. It's, I mean, it's grand and spectacular in the summer too, but to see the snow on it, it just gives you uh, that sense of awe and it really it gives you that uh, call of the wild when you're doing an activity like this. The biggest misconception is probably you're forcing dogs to do something they don't want to do. Uh, if, if I honestly thought that, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, You've seen yourself all these dogs once. Once they're they're on the chair, they just want they just want to run. Uh, the, uh, one of the responsibilities for us as guides is to actually hold the dogs back because they'll just give you everything you've got, and uh, we don't want them to do that. Just in the interest of welfare for the dogs. So um, I, I don't think that is a, a correct portrayal of what this sport is all about. Uh, but it's not for every dog. I mean, the little chihuahuas I think would struggle. 